Hey everyone, I'm going to teach you how to make a quick banner using the website canva.com. This is the Canva website. I'm choosing an event banner and there are a bunch of options here for pre-made banners. Some are free and some are priced out. So just check and see so you don't end up buying something um, you don't want to or have to like get rid of something you didn't realize cost money. If you're going to use the pre-made ones, you can edit them. Here I'm just going to make my own, choosing a background color, just picking a basic gray. And I want to add some photos. And I think these little frames are super cute. You can choose different shapes. And the frames, I think, are all free, so that's nice. So I'm going to choose some funky shapes, something you wouldn't usually see. And you can just resize. It works pretty much how you would expect it to work. And I'm going to do two photos. I'm going to do two different shapes here. And they just look like little clouds until you drop in the image that you want. So I just click that forward button. That brings whatever you're clicked on to the front. And you could also send something back. I'm going to pick some things I already have here. It's a picture of me and Cam. So cute. And Taya, which I used to make a banner for her recently. Here I'm going to double click on the image and I'm going to recrop it. Like change what you can see. And move some stuff around so it just looks a little more visually appealing. Some of you guys have seen me use this for banners and stuff that I've made for your personal groups. So let's select a text. We'll do um, the word makeup. And right above there, you can see where the fonts are. So this is pretty intuitive. You can just pick something that you really like and just go for it. Here I'm picking, I think it's brusher. And then I'm going to select it. I'm going to move it over. If I want some, and change the size, if I want something that's the exact same size and font, I like to just hit that copy button because then it's already exactly what I need it to be and then I can just change the text without doing all of the picking and choosing of the fonts and the size again. And I like to do separate text boxes so that I can give it perfectly spaced the way I want it instead of just pressing enter and it's not spaced well and then I'm fiddling with more settings than I need to. So let's do makeup and confidence. It already looks really cute right here but I can see that it's not centered well, so I'm gonna center it, and then I wanna add just a couple little things to just make it flare. So I'm gonna go back to the elements and scroll up. What am I doing? Okay, yeah, scroll up, and then I'm gonna hit um, lines. You can see all the different styles there. Those you can all kind of change the colors on the style, so don't choose based on color, but choose based on the style that you like. I'm just gonna choose these little arrows. They popped up a little bit big, so I'm gonna set it kind of where I want it, and then I'm gonna size it down to the size that makes sense for my image. I like to fiddle with these. I like to like do it and redo it and figure out where I want everything. Here I'm gonna change the color, and I'm gonna choose off the color wheel to something that looks a little bit more like Taya's shirt color. Because I think when you can tie things in a little bit, then it looks a little bit better. And then I'm gonna put it back behind, change the transparency so it's not so bold. And there we have it. I'm gonna save this and I can use it for an event later on in a group or a Facebook event. And I have something that's totally customized for a customer or for my VIP group. And it was so easy. This took what, like three minutes. Just three minutes and I had something perfectly customizable. Uh, I don't think that they have an app, but they definitely have the website. And there it is, done and done.